there are three things you should know when solving any problem with the normal curve. First off, the normal curve is unimodal. Let's break down what the word unimodal means. Well, unimodal means one mode. Modal comes from mode, and uni means one. So when we look at the curve, you'll notice there is one mode to it, and there it is. The second thing we should know is that it is symmetric. Symmetric basically means if we fold the curve over on itself across the middle of it, it'll look the same on either side. You'll notice this pretty clearly, that if you draw a normal curve and were to fold it down the middle of the curve, you would see the same sort of nature to it on both sides. It would look symmetric. Next, we'll get to the complicated one, which is that the curve has a mean and a standard deviation. The mean is the average of all the values and is found right at the center of the curve. The standard deviation is a measure of spread. And we can see differences with these if we were to change the mean. If we change the mean, we change where the center of the curve is at. So the curve could be centered at 5, or it could be centered at 10. That would just be where the middle of the curve is. If we change the standard deviation, we change how far the curve is spread out. That curve right there has a small standard deviation, where this one here has a larger. It just controls the spread of the distribution. So we often call the mean, in population terms, mu. And we call the standard deviation sigma. Both of these control the center and the spread of the curve. So let's draw this out here and see what we get. Well, when we draw a curve, at the very center of the curve, we need to choose a mean. And we can do this by going right here and drawing some notation. You'll notice at the top, we've already listed the normal curve has a mean and a standard deviation. Well, your problem might say that it has a mean of 80 and a standard deviation of 5. If these were the numbers in your problem, you can go right here to the very center of the curve, and right there, you can put 80. Now what we'll do is we'll go up and down three standard deviations. One, two, three. And this contains most of the data on the curve. Right now, all we need to do is fill in the remaining numbers. We add 5 to 85, 80 and get 85. We add 5 to 85 and get 90. We add 5 to 90 and get 95. Now we're just going to subtract and go down. All of these numbers are just 5 less than the previous one. And what you should notice is, is the very center of the curve has a mean of 80 and a standard deviation of 5.